Hello everyone and welcome back to our Jomen campaign. We are at the start of a new turn and it looks like an enemy pretender has claimed another throne. We summoned a more Kappa and our undefended province has been claimed by Pythium. I'm sure that's in the peninsula. Yeah, yeah. So I am uh, officially abandoning the peninsula for now because I need to move our armies to take out Lemuria and battle in the forest of Mouths. Well, this should be a pretty easy fight. I really need to put these guys in a formation. I'm hoping that with all of our priests here, any battle that, you know, happens here will be pretty easy. <laughs> with all the banishments. I mean, there we go. They've already routed. But of course, you got this, this, this damn Lemur, man. This thing is insane. I don't think we've ever actually, have we killed it yet? I think it manages to always get away. Look at that! Whoa! Why are these... Why were the Shigami going into melee? Hey, look at that, we killed it! We lost six Akaoni Samurai. Okay, unexpected event in the broad water. We got some gems, so that's good. We are under siege in Aramos. Yes, we are. And, okay. No one is starving or dying of disease right now, though. So that is a plus. And let me go here. Are my Shigami on, like, attack people? No? You guys should be... Not, not that. Cast spells. Delete. Let's quickly put them all on spells here. Do you do that? That's fine. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And you should be stay behind troops. I need to do. Let's see. Let's go with um. Double line. Hmm. And you know what? Actually, let's have the Akaoni just guard the commander and have the Yamabushi's. Just kind of tank for us there. Okay, so that army should hold. Meanwhile, here we go. Combine them. There we go. Okay, anything I want you to do? Probably should do summon water power. And actually, after that, do whatever you want. Okay, and this is the oh right right right, right. no what I actually what I need you need you to do is <laughs> kind of stuttered there I need you to cast blessing then cast water power okay so the blessing is for light hawk so that he will gain additional hit points and regeneration for when he goes into the front lines and starts fighting as a thug. Which is something that I forgot to do for poor Marcus, who died a couple episodes ago. God, that really sucked, man. The first battle, you just charge in there. Dude cast a K. What do you do? You just watch your body slowly slowly fade away. You're just like, man. And that's how you die. That's your last thing you say. You're just, man. Because <laughs> you're just like, I can't do anything about this. And that really sucked. All right, let me make sure that he is close to... Actually, let's put them off to this side here. You and Lighthawk. All right, so hopefully the blessing goes off on Lighthawk, because I think he's the only sacred guy here, right? You're, well, besides you, besides our, our priest, obviously. Oh, no, no, Porpoise God is too. Okay, well, let's make them a happy little family. So hopefully one blessing should catch them all. You, I don't think you're really ready for a thug yet. So let's do summon water power. Hmm, and the only, like, water spell... I guess you can do Encase in Ice. Well, we'll just, we'll just have you do cast spells. I'm let the computer handle it. And you, there you go. Finish it out with another one of that. Okay. So they have seventy. We have how many are here? Forty-three plus some heroes plus a thug, and then here we have an additional sixteen plus another priest plus Akros. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we want you to cast Banishment. 
Okay, let's put them... Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me press Y. Oh, whoops, whoops. Hold on. First, I have to actually send this army over here. There we go. Now let me press Y. This is so I can line up the priests with everybody else to get the blessing. Alright, so I put you in the right place. There we go. Our happy little blessing circle. Okay, and then these guys, let's put... Right back there. And then these Akaoni at this point, let's just have them guard and Durek. Out of the original 20, only three remain. They must be some tough, tough soldiers. Alright, so you guys inside here need to break the siege. Hopefully everything goes well there. Let me make sure you're casting spells. Let me do water power, and then you can do whatever you want. And then you, since we already have somebody blessing, do that and then cast spells. And let's make sure you're part of the happy little family too. And then the Kappa, Scar Commander. There's only three of them. All right, so hopefully, I'm pretty sure we could break that siege. Pretty sure. Don't know for sure, though. Not like 100%. Okay, so I have to worry about Pythium. I would like to get another army across there, but I don't really have the forces yet to do so. I also do want to claim that throne, obviously. Uh, but again, I don't really have the water forces to do so. I need to focus on Lemuria and try to clean them out of the water provinces. This, hopefully we don't have to worry about this ever again. Our priests have got this down to only two enemy dominion. So... What was the last turn? Like five, four, or something like that? So hopefully this will start going into the positive, and then I won't have to worry about this province ever again. And we are just going to... We're going to tell the public that the situation has been dealt with, that Lemuria has been defeated, but in reality, their pretender god will still be sitting inside this castle, surrounded by Yamabushi and priests. Um, and our prophet is going to hold him at bay. Alright, and that feels really good. I'm, I'm glad... That we finally are in a situation where I think Lemuria is almost handled, except for in their in the water provinces. But I think we can take care of that pretty easily as well. So, now I need to focus on Pythium and continuing to reinforce our numbers here against Atlantis. In case they ever do decide to attack, which I'm sure will be eventually. Uh, so who do we have stationed here? Just a bunch of priests? And we're still, still in the, in the negative in, in their dominion here. Alright, you know what? Even though we are, I'm going to have you start calling God. I really want to get our God back. And then here, you both are on call God. Pomegranate, let's pick up those Kappa. Way to go. And you are going to go back down and rejoin everybody here. We should still be recruiting sharks. We are. Uh, it has been suggested that I should also recruit the Ichthyid Warriors, especially for their nets. Oh, not these guys. These guys. Yeah, these guys have the nets. And I may do that, but I, I really love these Shark Warriors. I really do. They're so cool and unique. I've never played with them before. And the only reason I'm not really recruiting the Shrimp is simply because they can't go on land. So, eh. Okay, so we have 300 gold left. 25 resources to play around with here. So yeah, I guess we just keep recruiting Ashigaru. And for our leader, we still have Ewok can't be alive, who's suffering from a couple of afflictions. Weakened and limp, at least you're not diseased, so that's always a good thing. Tolmac is there, Blue Golem is there. We're up to 39 air gems, so we're almost to our first Dai Tengu. Almost. And we have Chris there. I feel like Chris needs to sit here with the priest to keep off, you know, to keep Lemuria at bay. They do have units in the water that can invade us, so I think Chris needs to stay there. Rippy, Dip, and, and Pippin, who I think Pippin's just a generic. They still need to sit there for the same reasons. Uh, can we get any kind of def <laughs> Sure. That's, yeah, that's fine. Um... Unrest 58, so we will have Rizo continue to patrol. And then I have a couple of Tengus just kind of sitting around. So let me grab... Hmm. That's... Do I just grab more priests? 
No, let's grab a Daimyo down here. Not really many units for him to lead right now, but uh, it's good to have one. Plus, we have other people wanting to become a Daimyo. Alright, just making sure everyone's preaching here. You are, everyone is sieging. Okay. And you guys will be preaching. Grab these Tengu and... Oh, actually, put them under Rippity Dip. What? Oh, duh, Rippity Dip doesn't have any. There we go. Because uh, I don't want to suffer the negative 2 morale. And we'll just have them guard the commander? Sure. Yeah, sure. It's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're putting a daimyo. Um, yeah. This situation. 140. Can we do it? Well, first, let's get everyone combined. I forgot I had moved to daimyo here, Lord Fox, so... Let's get as many people as we can under Lord Fox. Actually, Ray, you can keep your troops, though. Um, let's get these archers here. And the crossbows. There we go. That's much better. Alright, spells, 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 spells. Blessing spells. Okay. Actually, we're going to need... I don't want to do this. Do I like that? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so I want you up there and you need to cast Blessing, Blessing, Cast Spells. Okay. <laughs> Do I try? Do I try it? I think I can take them. I really do. We don't have that many Yamabushis, but I think we can do it. Maybe. Let's find out. Ray, Lord Fox. Take that province. And let me get a garrison up here. So this group, if they have a leader, can't just come in there and take it for free. And let's see, at the same time... Oh, here we go. We have the Hatamoto. We need to rename you. Who are we going to rename you to? Uh, let's see, we're up to... Super... Tigerification? Super Tigerification? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, you've requested to be a frontline fighter. Uh, to be a frontline fighter, I'm assuming you mean a thug. Um, right now, you're going to just be you're going to be a Hatamoto, and you're going to be staying behind the troops because I don't really have the thug items right now. But hopefully, sometime in the future, I can get you as a thug. Uh, for right now, you would just be a leader. Let's grab these two, and you're going to stay there for right now to collect more Yamabushi and Akaoni. Okay, and we're recruiting a priest here? No, we're not. We should, should be. Actually. For Dominion and for calling our god back. Okay. I feel like this turn is done. Let's end it. And if we crush that Pythium army, which I think we can, then... We should have a free reign, pretty much, I, I would think. <laughs> Alright, let me mark off Super Tigerfication on my giant list here. 
Okay, research and evocation is complete. We have found a magic item, Ring of Water Breathing. Uh, that's not good. That's probably from one of our priests. Alright, Battle in Eremos Sound. Look at all those beautiful shark warriors. And all those shark knights. Oh, the damn Shark Knights. I really placed this group in the wrong spot. I guess I should have had them up here, but how was I supposed to know where the Shark Warriors would be placed? Shark Knights, whatever. Oh, man. And here comes some more Shark Warrior, Shark Knights. My bad. Hopefully, Lighthawk gets in his thug form here and fights them off. We'll find out here in a bit. Still casting his self buffs on, on himself though. Come on, Kappa! Fight off those shark knights. Damn, there goes one of Oh man, was that Frozen or Enclave? That was Frozen. Jeez, sorry Frozen. Man. Oh, there's Lighthawk's thug form. Our shark warriors are still holding up against the shark knights. Lighthawk is going up against the Shark Knights. 55 hit points. He is blessed. Was that... Did, did that say 979? <laughs> you see that number? What? No, way. it had to be like a 9, a 7, and a 9. What? Anyway, Lighthawk is dominating those, those Shark Warriors. Shark Knights, damn it. Continuing to do some work. And we have the enemy army routed, but we lost a priest and we lost Frozen. Sorry, Frozen. Those shark knights just went right through. Came right after you guys. Damn. We've lost so many good commanders in this in this campaign. I don't think that uh, that shark knight's going anywhere. Everyone keeps casting in case and ice. <laughs> Alright, whoops, that's not the battle. So we ended up losing Yeah, the Sea Father and the Kanushi. Nine shark warriors out of that entire ordeal and two Kappa. They lost twenty two shark knights and some shadow people. Alright, battle in the southwest of Valenwood. Valenwood? Ooh. All right, some one more of your spells going down. Iron Warrior spell going down. Very good. Regeneration, more wooden warriors. Awesome. Some more blessings. Ugh. That's what the Ashgar are for. They're there to soak up the javelins and archer fire. And it was actually kind of perfect. They made a hole big enough for our Yamabushis to get in there in the center and start fighting. And our Akaoni are flanking up both sides. There go the Tengus, though they're not in a great position. Although none of them got hit in that in that fight, though. Speed this up a bit. Blade Wind did absolutely nothing. Not a surprise. Definitely lost some Ashigaru. That's to be expected. Overall, though, I think we, we just crushed them. There go the remaining Ashigaru. Our Tinkus are still trying to hold them. I think we've lost one or two. But that's pretty good, considering all of the units are fighting against right now. There we go. There's the friendly bow fire into the Tengus. <laughs> that friendly bow fire, though. Oh my god. 
I should probably have our archers target enemy archers. I, I honestly didn't even remember them having archers, which is why I didn't even bother giving the order. I thought it was just mostly or all legionnaires, basically. So we did really good. Uh, I think we did lose some Akaoni. We definitely lost Ashigaru, and we lost some Tengus. But we, we will win that. But at what price? 19 Ashigaru, 4 Aka, Oni, and then almost all of our Tengu. Wait, what? You're telling me all of that was... This... What? That was all a Garrus? Mound King? I'm looking at the wrong thing. Right... What the truck? Really? That was... Okay, okay. I... Didn't know that was all Garrison. Or most of Garrison. Okay. Anyway, um... Heart of Valenwood. So yeah, they did come and attack us. I knew they would. Although I didn't know they had even this many troops. Come on, barbarians! Oh no, barbarians! Oh, you worthless! Uh... Sunrise Ridge was conquered by an independent. <gasps> we did it! Wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, what? And our troops are starving in the Forest of Mouse? What? Zelena the God of Lemuria has been permanently vanquished. At the end of his dominion, he did not touch... At the end, his dominion did not touch a single province. And his life force died with his dominion. <gasps> I didn't even know. No, I mean, I know that that's a way that they can die is if they lose all of their dominion, but... I had assumed that they had this dominion in the water. I was just trying to contain their god. This dominion belonged to other people. This is probably Atlantis right here. Well, no, no, because that's a heat scale. That's not Atlantis. That would be someone else. Oh my god, we just conquered Lemuria without having to fight them again. And now the ocean is basically free. Well, it's not free. I still have to conquer it at all, but they're not good. Like, these independents aren't going to be moving on their own. <gasps> <laughs> Lemuria has fallen! That was not my intention! I honestly thought they controlled Dominion out here. Now what I don't know, what I don't know is that since their god was in a place where their Dominion shifted to ours... Actually no, it didn't shift to ours. No, 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 yeah, yeah, they just did not have any Dominion. Holy shit. That is amazing. All of our priests stationed here ended Lemuria by just preaching. Wow. That is... Oh, that feels... That feels great. That just feels great. Oh my god. Lighthawk. Dude, change shape. Oh man. Lemuria is gone. E Ewok can't be. Um, well, actually, who's sieging us? Eight enemy units? Okay. Um, I don't think we need... All the researchers to do that. You all can't be. Break the siege. How are we starving? How is it that we are pushing the Dominion closer to our side and we're, and we're actually losing supplies? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Lemuria is dead. Oh my god. Oh man. And actually we're, our supplies are pretty crappy there too. I need to... Um... I need to take over this castle, but also, let's, uh, let's do this for right now. Let's split off some of these guys, and we will move Satoshi up here, because I, I don't want our troops to start dying of disease. And then here, I don't understand how we're losing supplies. Since the land is now turning into our dominion, or at least someone else's dominion. 
And uh, it should be... Supply should be growing, not diminishing. Hmm. Doesn't matter, though. Lemuria is gone. Lemuria is gone. Actually, let's uh, do this. So this should be enough. Mario, you go up here, too. So that we can stop dying of disease. Pomegranate move down. This army will continue to move with Akros. Oops. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. Army setup. Yes! Ha ha! Ah, excellent. Everything is going according to plan. No, it's not. I was not playing on that. <gasps> okay, no, Pythium definitely has another army. Okay. Tell you what, Lord Fox, Ray, I know we just conquered this province, but I'm actually going to have you go back. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty large army, and we need reinforcements for that. Oh, man. Okay, uh, Super Tiger... <laughs> I'm just gonna call you Super Tiger. I think I may move you out right now... No, actually, no, I won't. I won't. Alright, these guys can cast more Kappa. We're at 40 Air Gems. We still need 15 more. God, I can't believe out of all the sites we found, still only one Air Gem per turn. That's just terrible. It's terrible! It's got the Shark Warriors. But Lemuria is dead! God! It feels so good! It feels so good! I'm gonna cry! Not really, though. So now, I can focus... Hmm. No. What I was gonna say is now I can focus the army of Enclave, Lighthawk, and Durek, and I can refocus them to fight against Pythium again. But why would I want to do that when I have basically mostly free territories in the water to conquer. I should probably just have them continue to doing that and conquering these castles along the way. Yeah. Especially before Atlant Atlantis is definitely going to be moving on these- Oh, no, Atlantis. They're going to be moving in on those. Oh, man. You greedy bastards, I already know you are. I have to beat them to it. Oh, we have to- we have to- we have to hurry. All right, well, we'll get to that in the next episode. Lemuria is crushed. They're gone. Get the out of my empire. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Now we just have to deal with Pythium and try to conquer as many of these independent provinces before Atlantis gets to them. There's no way I'm going to get up there quick enough, and that's where I really want to go because then that opens up all this territory, and Lemuria was, what, was the people stopping Atlantis from getting all these territories and now uh, they're probably gonna get it i guess what would be faster if i try to go south from here or north from there i don't know i'll figure it out later so thanks for watching everybody i will see you all next time lemuria is dead <laughs>